Okay, time to travel back into the past. That's a point where I can freely go back and forth. Things are gonna murder me. So I'm on the right side. Don't get sniped by Noctorok. Oh, it's rocks. I'm glad I have a potion. Although I would like to not have to use it on this. Oh, there it goes. Alright, this is the cliff right south of town, right? Looks like a, <laughs> something weird you going on. A ceremony, huh? Knock all the beasts. Hey, what's going on here? Okay, glad I only had to do that once. <laughs> so there might be other things that I need to fix. Oh, that just changes the cart path. Too bad he didn't fix the uh, potion bottle I just used up. I kind of want to check out that other path while I'm down here. It'll, it will be a little easier at the moment. Interesting that these monsters are stronger in the past than they are... ...in the present. So what does this other area look like?
Do not throw anything into the water, huh? <laughs> what if I throw something in the water? Oh. I dropped a regular one. Okay, I thought those were going to hurt me. Thank you. At least I had a uh, good instinct on that. Actually, I think I want the present and then to warp. Present first. No, I wanted to be in... Oh yeah, I do want to be in the past. <laughs> it's because that screen is so volcanic, it makes me think it's in the past. Secret in the cave, I mean, secret cave in the volcano. Does that mean the city in the present is no longer demolished? Let's see what things look like now. Definitely less volcanic looking. Music's a little happier. There's a portal taking up the space of that bush. These are no longer symmetric. Alright, there's now a cave in the volcano. Just making sure... So they don't have to be twins. Level four. These evil bats. Okay. 
And have a look around before I go through any doors. Left or right? Knocked him into the lava. Worst enemy in the game, those flying bats. Alright, got the compass already. That helped me without... Oh, I do start building the map. As I walk through, I didn't realize that. Need a blue dice. Acquired. Seems I picked the right direction to go to start. Okay, I found a winning strategy. Look the other direction. Uh, how do I get through there? There we go. Start with the near side. Can I get in? There we go. Should have started with the other one. Let's get that chest first. <laughs> it's probably a gasha seed or something. Oh, it's the map. Got a skull, and then the lower jaw is the basement. That would go straight up. to defeat this with embers? Nope. Bombs. Glad I got my bomb upgrade. Okay, now to shoot.
Oh, I wanted that switch. Shouldn't it have been mashing the attack button? Time spin slash. So far, it's been relatively straightforward getting through here. Closer for comfort than I wanted it to be. Absolutely nothing. Oh, no. Oh, please don't let this be one of those puzzles. I just need to jump and then land on it. Not like a lights out situation. Okay, we've got a dice. Must solve the puzzle before proceeding. There's holes, gotta remember. is when it goes in the hole. I guess it did, but I am glad I didn't accidentally put that in the wrong color. Let's check the upper right, because that, yeah, it's going to be a dead end. Super bank shot? Let's look to the left before going on the minecarts.
Glad I did so. Monster is destroying me. Pathway is now open. I don't think I can inquire that heart, can I? Let's hope this has health inside the pot. I do not have a key for opening whatever that is to the minecart. Okay. Try this again. Should be platforming. Come on, don't kill me, P hat. Don't want to hop around while it's still on the loose. Of course, it's not going to get in striking range. Is the key that I needed. That was a strange looking block. I'm gonna assume the mummy be weak to fire. Oh, it turns into a skeleton. That's right. It's actually one of the worst skeletons it could have turned into, though. So I can go up or to the left. Let's look left first. Nope. Mini boss. don't have an item to take this out, I don't think. Oh, I see. Pretty interesting boss fight. Goodness, I wasn't standing in the warp point when it activated. Oh, okay, there was nothing up there. So curious about that diamond shaped block. So we've not gone two screens to the right here. That block is sort of blocking it.
Must be some kind of a grapple point. Trying to snipe me from down there. What is going on in this room? I have to hit every tile. Side. Okay. What if I go... Nope, that was not right. I did I do that right the first time? Okay. Thank goodness it stays active. Switch hook. I see now. <laughs> Interesting. This isn't going to let me get anything down here. Yeah, this is all walled off. Can I now get across that upper area? I can. How bad are these mummies all by themselves? Not too bad. Right, that was probably the worst thing that could have happened there. See, I need to switch with that to open it. Like how it's different levels on the switch hook. So, apparently, it can be upgraded. So now, have we... Oh, we've not gone to the left side. Just making sure they're not going to drop anything. Sort of. Need to get that block over here. Then once I go across there, I have to switch with the pot. Make 
sure I'm on screen for this. So this part, also tricky because I need to do... Nope, can only reach so far. There we go. So leveling it up probably lets it reach farther. Another pot switching area with bats. I'm sure we're going to mess up my approach. Slightly repeating something from before. Kind of a odd room here for traps. Oh god. And moldorms. I need to solve this to get the key. At least I can backtrack onto the red area. Oh, and I can hop off to get rid of these. As long as I'm not touching the white space. So I do need to sneak around this corner at some point. Created a bit of a problem up there, but maybe I can snake down into that. Nope, I've messed it up. Let's try going this direction. I'm uh, doing something wrong here, but some of those spots before I get stuck. I've, am I? No, I should be able to make this right. style jumping. 
guess I don't really need those pots. I'm not hurt yet. Get those out of the way. Okay, it cannot warp with an enemy. It has to be an object. And I need the boss key. Okay, boss is in the jaw. Alright, I was a little worried there that the uh, ceiling was going to squish me. Get those bats to notice me. There we go. Come here. Nope. Not interested. Didn't mean to do that. So we're now in the last unexplored area. Oh, it comes up here. Okay. All right. Kind of have to move with some speed. close. Maybe I should be uh, using the feather and or switch hook. Should I be switch hooking or should I be grabbing? So I made the right choice. Use the tool from the dungeon for the job. More switching? Don't want to mess this up because wouldn't want to have to go through that lava maze again. from here. I did mess that up because I need to, or did I? How am I supposed to get back up there to the chest? I don't think I can switch places with it. Nope. 
So doing any kind of switch with the pot will remove it. Does the chest remain? I have to solve it all in one go. What am I going to grab onto in that upper right corner? Oh, there's a chest pot on the far side. I feel like I have to... Swap with this. So where else am I going to go? I don't want to swap with that because that's just going to lock me out. I need to move this down first. Then swap. Husky. Full health ready for the boss. Come on. Oh, I don't actually have the sword, that's why. No wonder I couldn't attack. Is there anything down there? No, there can't be. I went through that earlier. Easier than precision platforming. I'm assuming the boss is going to want me to use the switch hook in some way. Switching does replenish or drop treasure from busted pots. Alright, this thing's hurt pretty bad. <laughs> okay, that was a pretty brutal fight. Of course, I'm not going to start with full health. How far off am I from the boss? Not too far. I do have to make it there. I think I want to go right from here. No, that's where I got. Just have to remember how to get there. This was not the right way to go.
Maybe by the time I wander to where the boss is, I'll be powered up. I feel like I do want to be in there, but maybe I go backwards. Yes. And then I can swap from up here. Okay, now I remember. Thank you, Perry. Do you have to resolve some of these rooms to get back there, though? closer. <laughs> this again. It's a Dark Souls run back. That's quite the journey. Maybe this time I will not be too aggressive. too early. Okay. Restock. Okay, this time I know I need to focus on the boss. Of actually was good. Uh, keep 
switch hooking it. We've got the Burning Flame. An essence of time. It reignites wavering hearts with a hero's burning passion. Of course. And what does the Maku tree have to say? The ridge north of Nehru's house. Well, now that I can travel into the past and then warp new, thank you. Actually, I probably should have bumped into Maple there to get that heart container piece. Oh well. This is not where I want to be. I should probably warp because this will be a challenge to get away from. So I can warp to here. If I wanted to. There's still... I didn't go to the present from... The Fixer, but I have a feeling I'll be back there again sometime. A useful tip? Okay. Dig around in the back. Yes. Strange secrets. Uh, let's go. Wish I could look at the other map while I'm on the screen. That'll take me back to the past. And then up here. Giant cliff. Okay, that's a thing I cannot go up. I don't remember what that area looked like in the past. Can I go up from here? Yes. Might actually have been a while since I was in this area. Rolling Ridge Base. Here we go. Aha. I 
leading just to a cave, but maybe this is a route up the mountain. Goran Elder has been buried alive. Bomb flower. Better than a regular bomb? the seed please there we go bomb flower was there anybody who NPC knew about bombs or flowers oh we have another way we can go down here Best Zora Musician. Is this a place I can warp to the present from? Actually, I should have tried this outside of the Goron Cave as well. Nope, this area is just nothing special. think that screen would have been any special thing either. What happens if I warp from here? Yeah, that tree has overgrown the spot. start going through a million stairways. Maybe I should look around the right side. Is this just a cliff? That's the way out. different stairways to try out. That goes further up. Oh no, we've got a maze. I like how they can uh, shove me out of the way. So, are we creating like a weird time paradox? Got some money. out there. Let's see if there are more things we can talk to.
Treasures to acquire. I cannot hop off that ledge. Oh, I can. So we're now north of the Deku Maku tree. Pegasus seeds. <laughs> 30 rupees. Something for something a little better than that. And I'm not moving in a straight line. Looks like there would be something Goron related up here. I'm in the present, right? There's Goron, no, Moblin Castle. And then hopping down from here would just take me down. Look around a little bit. Okay, we can travel to the past there. Convenient healing fairy. Peek into the Moblin Castle and see what makes it so great. Okay. <laughs> I see. Why Pegasus seeds are needed. Don't get squished by the platform. There's something down here. So I could go up or explore this. Are these bombable? Yes. Really glad I went back to go to that fairy that increased my pouch. Alright, <laughs> that did not actually help me. What was in the center path? Okay, so it automatically starts there. I did not have any chance of making it there. So then what was in that middle route? A ring. <laughs> okay. So I must have to do some time traveling. In order to get farther.
Ooh. Oh, I don't even need it. Okay. I do need to... Well, I don't have to, but... Using that there gives me a... Savings on bomb usage. Might as well restock bombs while I'm here. Assuming these are... Might have not replenished yet. Oh well. So I need to travel to the past here and then explore from there to either get Pegasus seeds or a bomb flower or possibly both. 